What are ionic compounds, you ask? Ionic compounds are a type of compound. They contain metals and non-metals. If they contain only non-metals, then it's not an ionic compound. They need to have both. The non-metal always ends in ide, I-D-E. So say we're using sodium and chlorine. It will end in sodium chloride. Dr. Radmanovich who explained how to balance their charges. He has a PhD no, too. <laughs> Here is a three-dimensional representation of what happens when ionic compounds combine, how their charges have to balance. Here is magnesium. In its first shell, we have two electrons. And in the first shell, the only maximum number of electrons is two, so it is completed. In its second shell, with a maximum number of eight, we see eight electrons in its second shell, so it is completed. However, in magnesium's third shell, we only see two electrons as opposed to 18, which is the maximum number. It is incomplete. There's an extra two right here. Now let's look at oxygen. In oxygen's first shell, we have two electrons. That's completed. However, in its second shell, we only see six. Six out of eight. Oxygen is missing two electrons to complete its second shell. And magnesium has two extra electrons to complete its third shell. So what happens in ionic compound? They end up sharing the two electrons to combine. Now magnesium would lose the two electrons, which makes a positive or a cation, and oxygen would obtain the electrons, making it an anion. And that is how an ionic compound is formed with the charges.